Guys, next up we go to the 4A West, um, number nine Porter Ridge. They travel to number eight Lake Norman. The winner will face number one Greensboro Grimsley. I mean, you know, I think this is a game. If you've got plans Friday night, I think you should go ahead and go to this game, enjoy a, a good game, a quick game, and then you can go kind of finish your evening. Uh, yeah, yeah. Two option offenses, uh, this game won't last you know, very long. Um, I think if I'm either one of these teams, I'm pissed off at my ranking because yeah. during this time of year, especially when you're not playing familiar faces, this is the greatest offense to, ha to go into a game, to go into cold weather with, to go into unfamiliar mm -hmm. opponents. Because as we saw, preparing for a triple option offense in one week is a very tall task. Mm -hmm. um, and that's not something you do easy. I come from a triple option background. I think a big thing that we had with our playoff success where teams really couldn't understand the level of discipline required for an entire week. Right. And I think this is a game where this team could knock off the one seed here. I think going yeah, into wow. Grimsley mm -hmm. with the team we've already discussed, you know, with our seeding process that may have, you know, received a little bit of a break, they're not getting a break in regards to Porter Ridge or Lake Norman being their, their first opponent and having to understand that You've got to be an option specialist in, in a couple weeks here, or you're gonna, you know, you're gonna go down pretty quickly. So it, it's gonna be an interesting game here. All right, my, my hats off. Uh, I don't envy either of these defensive coordinators right now. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know, we, you, you're preparing for triple option. Uh, the week we played Lake Norman, I was, you know, easily going crazy myself. But uh, it, you know. Two teams that I think they're very, very similar. That's what's yeah. crazy. Yeah. Very similar. Uh, should be a really good game. Like, like this is. I wouldn't be surprised if this was like a six-three game or something, <laughs> something crazy like that. But, but they're they're almost a mirror image of each other, man. They yeah. really are. Uh, so, I mean, th this game is going to be pretty much to me one to who who can maybe score a little more. Like, kind of similar to Vance Butler, like. Who, who offense is, is better that night? And of course, it's going to be tough uh, preparing for option. But I think both of them are built. You mm -hmm. know, when you when your team when your actual team is an option team, yeah. I yeah. think you're a little more well versed to face option team. So, mm -hmm. you know, I wouldn't be. That's why I said I wouldn't be surprised if it was a six three game. So, uh, this would be an interesting, interesting, a very interesting game. I think very interesting game. Yeah. Uh, I think. You know, you probably get edged to Lake Norman because that offensive line come out there and start smacking people in the mouth. Yeah, it's a tough, it's tough group. Very good, tough yeah. group. Yeah. And I mean, they, they hold water. <laughs> and I mean, you know, yeah. even in our conference, you'd see. I mean, you compare. Yeah. You know, at, at first glance, you wouldn't think Lake Norman. You know, when you're talking Vance, you're talking. You know, some of these other schools, but I mean, I like Norman Vance game. I mean, Vance Lake Norman, higher, you know, yeah. they, they had some success Tim in the Norman red zone the where, higher, yeah. yeah, when you talk about a defense showing their teeth, I mean, mm -hmm. Vance in the red zone, as we witnessed a couple times, is like none other. So yeah. to, to see them, you know, able to kind of take advantage of, you know, a couple, a little bit of fortune with Vance turning the ball over three times, it shows you how tough that offensive line is. So now transferring that over to, to a tough Porter Ridge team, you know, it, it, it lets you know that line is for real. Um, but I mean, again, you know, we looked last year, Porter Ridge. I mean, they used to be in a giant slayer. I think they yeah. were a seven seed. I know they knocked off West Mech um, well, in the second round. They had their back, back and then that quarterback man, last year. Yeah, you know, but they're unfamiliar yeah. with playoff time. Yeah. I mean, that lets you, I mean, they're, yeah. excuse me, they're familiar with playoff time, and that lets you know they're not, you know, I think that West Mech team last year might have been better than this Grimsley team here. And I mean, to see how they moved last year and how they were able to be successful, you got to watch out for that upset there. I mean, whoever makes it out of this, you know, out of this scenario, I think has a great shot of yeah. making it to that third round. It's just like last year, you know, um, when Porter Ridge played that West Mech team, mm -hmm. we had played them that week. West God was now 100%. And Preston, Preston, Preston or yeah, Charles, Charles sure. Reese, so, uh, you know, they yeah. caught them right at. You gotta catch teams right at the right moment. I think, you know, no disrespect to Porter Ridge, I think they caught West right at the right moment. Um, Lake Norman, that coach, man, he done done something amazing over there. Amazing, yeah. You know, you know, coach, 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 coach. You know, they buy in, they fight. Um, Porter yes. Ridge, they got a nice, they got a wonderful coach too. And mm -hmm. like I said, it's gonna be a nail by, but like I said, Lake Norman whole line come out there and do what they always are getting pancakes and stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be a, a, a pretty quick game. Oh, yeah. Sure. Uh, let me ask you, we look at experience. Lake Norman hadn't been in the playoffs in a little while. Porter Ridge has been there. Does that weigh, weigh in a lot at this point in the season? I think so. I think, I so. think so, just because, you know, it's it's no different than a Creek, a Vance, a Butler, teams that are always mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. It's like, you know, you've been through this before. You know what to expect. Like, you know, you're if you're if when you're a first-time playoff team in a while, you're going to be – excited but i think there's naturally going to be some nerves there mm -hmm. so you know 
I, I think it definitely plays a plays a part for sure. Yeah. I do. Yeah, mm -hmm. no, and I think, but I think the great equalizer the thing that helps them is that this game's at the lake. Yeah. So yeah. I think yeah. that yeah. is the greatest yeah. equalizer that, that okay. they go from you know, and, and technically they made the playoffs last year and only lost to West Charlotte by a touchdown. And so they, I mean, and they won you know, two games in a row. Yeah, yeah. And they and won a couple. Yeah, games. so that was a big thing there is that they They're made it last year and really loss. put you know yeah. gave West Charlotte a game you know more than they could handle almost. So you know they have minimal experience, but the thing this year to kind of help them one is that Cole that Coach Bill yeah. has talked about. Two is being able to have a home game. I mean, as we yeah. saw, you know, being a road warrior when you're trying to establish culture is not a good, you know, good formula for success. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> good stuff, guys. Appreciate it. Mm -hmm.